Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome to today's full body workout. Today will be a spicy and playful power flow, a fusion of yoga and Pilates using just our own body weight to build strength and tone throughout our whole body. So I really hope that you enjoy today's practice. And if you have not already subscribed, please consider doing so and give me a nice big thumbs up if you enjoy this practice. Okay, when you're ready to get started, you're welcome to come onto your mat. Let's make our way onto our knees in a kneeling position. And then you can start by interlacing your hands and just slowly begin to circle out the wrists in one direction. And then change directions of the circles. Connecting to your breath, nice steady rhythm in and out of your nose. You can keep your interlace of the hands and then reach the hands out in front of you, tuck the chin into the chest, reach forwards. And then we arch the spine as we pull the arms back. Lift your chest through, breathe in, breathe out, push forwards, contract fully. A couple of rounds like that, these cat-cow spines. Lift your chest, pull the arms back. And then exhale, curl the body inwards. And again, inhale. Exhale to round. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Now bend into your elbows and lean your head back into your hands. As you peel the elbows back, continue to reach your chest through, take a full breath in. And then with your out breath, release the interlace of the hands, drop your hands out in front of you, tuck your toes and make your way right up into a downward facing dog. Let's find a little wiggle here, bend into one leg, Bend into the other leg as you start to feel into a bit of an opening across the backs of your legs, your hamstrings and your calf muscles. And then with that out breath, begin to lift both of your heels nice and high off the floor. Find a crouching dog, hug your chest towards your thighs, lift your gaze, and then with control, glide forwards, come into a plank position. Now hug your belly into your spine, keep your bum nice and low and take a full round of breath. And then with your out breath, chaturanga, slowly come halfway down, nice and controlled. Make your way right into an upward facing dog, elbows straight, lift up through the chest. And then we roll the hips back into our downward facing dog. A couple of rounds like that, just warming up the body, lift the heels, bend your knees, hug your chest to your thighs, glide the body forwards, stay in your plank pose, hug your belly in towards your spine, feel the energy in your arms. Bend your elbows controlled, chaturanga. Up dog, lifting the heart forwards. And then downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. And again, lift the heels off the floor. Crouching dog, bend your knees. Glide the body forwards, come into a plank pose. Push away from the ground and halt. Come right into your chaturanga. Upward facing, sweep your heart forwards, lift your chest. And then down dog, glide your hips all the way back. Beautiful, last round. Let's lift the heels off the floor. Find your crouching dog, springing like action. Brings us forward to our plank pose. Chaturanga. Up dog, lift up through the chest. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Beautiful, take a nice full breath in through the nose. And then give it a nice big sigh as you let that go. Beautiful, now lift your heels off the floor, hovering tabletop, knees beneath hips, wrists directly beneath shoulders. Try to keep your spine straight and flat. And then we hold here for a moment. Listening carefully, you're gonna step your right foot back, inhale, and then step it forwards, and then take it to the other side. All right, we'll go for 10 rounds, let's go for it. Starting with the right side, 10, nine, nice and controlled. Eight, seven, six, you got this, five, four, three, two, almost there. Last one, beautiful, keep the knees where they are, hold for a moment, and then drop your knees to the ground. Come into cow, lift your chest, breathe in, round the spine, contract, cat spine. Beautiful, come back into your tabletop shape, lift your knees off the floor, and then step both of your feet back, come into a plank. All right, push away from the ground, just a little bit of spice to make sure we're nice and warm here in the beginning. You're gonna step your right foot out to the side, and then bring it back in, and then the other leg. All right, let's go for 10, and we're gonna start on the right side, you can do this. One, two, 
three, keep your bum nice and low, four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, and 10, beautiful work, both feet together. Now sink your knees down to the floor, find supported chaturanga as you lower your chest down, come into cobra, lifting your chest, opening it up, exhale, lower it back down. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out to soften to the floor. Beautiful, now tuck your toes, push away from the ground as much as you can, use your arm strength to try to push yourself up into a plank. Take a breath in, and then, as you breathe out, take a flow of vinyasa. So, chaturanga to upward facing dog, elbows straight, downward facing dog. Beautiful, we roll the hips back. On your next round of breath, send your right toes back, find a three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Three legged dog, reach it back. Over to the left side. Find a three-legged dog, reach back into the right foot. And then step forwards, find a low lunge. Breathe in as you peel the heart forwards and hips down. Sink your left knee to the floor now, come into half splits, flying variation. Reach the hands behind you. Start to lean forwards, feeling into that opening across the right hamstring line. And then shift forwards, make your way right into warrior three. We'll try to lift the back leg as much as we can. Keep the energy in the arms as well. Start to guide your left knee up and into the chest now. All right, let's give it a squeeze as we wrap the hands around your left chin bone, hugging it in nice and cozy, hold. All right, guide your hands together, your heart space in prayer. Start to kick into the left leg. If your leg is here, that's totally fine. See if you can play with straightening out through the leg. Do your best, breathe in, and then bend into the leg. We'll go for three more, kick right through. Beautiful, bend into the leg. And again, kick through. Keep your left foot flexed and bend. Nice, final round, kick through. And bend. Flying warrior, reach back through your left leg. Try to keep the energy in that back leg, breathe. High lunge, your left foot meets the ground. Arms reach tall, take a breath, and then bend into your back left knee a lot. Hold and breathe. Start to straighten both of your legs as you firm into your thighs and your bum, lengthen, and then bring it back down. All right, we're gonna go for five, four, three, got this, two, and one. Beautiful, hold and breathe in your lunge. Drop both of your hands down to the ground, inhale. Exhale, easy twist, reach the right arm into the sky. All right, you're on your left hand, come into a side plank now. You're welcome to stack the ankle bones, or if you wanna play and challenge yourself, lift your right leg off of your left foot. Hold for five, four, three, two, and then one, listen carefully. You're gonna drop your right forearm down to the floor, coming into a forearm side plank on your right elbow, left arm is in the sky. All right, breathe in, lift your hips. And then weave your left arm underneath your right arm and then bring it back up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, hold for a breath. Then drop both of your forearms down to the floor, come into a forearm plank. Stay here, try to stay with it. Keeping those toes tucked, we're gonna drop the left hip to the side and then the other side. Finding these London bridges, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, come back into your forearm plank, hold for a breath and then drop your hips down to the ground, Sphinx Pose. Take a nice, full and relaxed breath. All right, 
Now I want you to spread into your fingers, push away from the ground as much as you can, come back up into a forearm plank, and then start to walk your feet closer towards your elbows. We're meeting in dolphin pose. So whatever variation of dolphin that you have in your practice, if you prefer to interlace your hands here, you're welcome to go for that. Welcome to bend your knees as well. Continue to try to lift through your hips as you push away from the ground. We'll hold for five more rounds of breath. See if you can stay with it. I know it's strong. Almost there, two more breaths. And then wherever you are, nice and slowly, walk your feet back, come back into a forearm plank. Stay with it if you can, forearm plank. Breathe in, drop your hips down, come into sphinx. Lovely, inhale. Exhale, lower your chest to the floor, hands beneath your shoulders, tuck those toes under, push yourself up. Nice and controlled, if you can, plank. Breathe in, breathe out, downward facing dog. Lovely, take a nice full breath. And then send your left leg into the sky, find your three-legged. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Find your three-legged again, reach back. Over to your right elbow. Find your three-legged dog, radiate through the back foot. Find a low lunge, stepping lightly in between our hands. Lift your chest and lower your hips. Exhale, sink the right knee to the floor, coming into your half splits shape, reaching the hands behind you. Pull the heart forwards, feel into that opening across your left hamstring. And then shift forwards onto your left leg, make your way into warrior three. Reach into the arms, point into the back toes. Hold here for a moment, find some playfulness, and then begin to guide your right knee up and into your chest. Interlacing hands around right shin bone, give it a squeeze, and try to stand up nice and tall, finding that sense of focus, of awareness. All right, hands to heart space. Let's go for it, kick into that leg. Again, I don't want you to worry about the height of the leg, but see if you can play with finding a straight leg, so you're working into your quads. Bend into the knee, inhale. And again, exhale, kick through. Bend into the knee. And kick through again, you got this, stay with it. Bend into the knee. <laughs> Last time, kick through, reach into the foot, hold, breathe. Nice, bend into your right knee, flying warrior. We reach back through the toes, hold. Keep the back leg nice and high. And then find your high lunge as your right foot lightly meets the ground, reach into the arms. Now I want you to bend into the right knee a lot, just as before, inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs, firming into thighs, firming into bum, lowering it back down. All right, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful, take a breath. Drop both of your hands down to the ground, come into your easy twist, reach your left arm into the sky, and then make your way into your side plank. Whatever side plank you had on the first side, play with it, lift up through the bottom hip for five, four, three, two, and one. Now your left elbow forearm meets the mat, coming into your forearm side plank, you're on your left elbow. Reach your right arm up, Stay with it and smile, you got this, breathe in, exhale, weave that right arm underneath, and then bring it back up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, take a breath. Forearm plank, both hands, elbows to floor. All right, hold for a moment, breathe. We're gonna do London Bridges, 10 rounds, let's go for it. Starting on the right side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful work. Stay in your forearm plank for five, 
four, three, two, one. Beautiful, drop your hips down to the ground, come into Sphinx, relax for a moment. All right, nice work. Tuck those toes under, come back into your forearm plank, walk your feet towards your elbows, come into your dolphin once again. All right, no rush, make your way here. Whatever dolphin you have, whether that's hands interlaced or fingertips on the floor, try to push away from the ground as much as you can. Okay, if you're here in your dolphin and things are really spicy already, stay as you are. Otherwise, lift your left leg up, breathe in, hold, and then breathe out, drop that foot down, taking it to the other side, right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, lower it back down. One more time on each side, left leg lifts. You got this, drop it down to the floor. And last side, right leg lifts. And drop it down to the floor, beautiful my friends. Sink your knees down to the ground, come into child's pose for a moment. Two breaths, relax your forehead to the floor, relax your upper body. Now before you get too relaxed, lift your gaze, tuck your toes and make your way back into dolphin, lifting your hips up. Push away from the ground through the elbows as much as you can and try to pull your chest towards your thighs. Okay, again, you are welcome to stay here. Otherwise, lift your right leg up. All right, we're gonna play with a bit of pincher if you feel ready for it. Look forwards, start to lift your left heel off the floor. Okay, and remembering to find your drishti right in between your elbows and between your arms here. Lean the body forwards and maybe find a momentary balance, a moment of a lift. Okay, and if you have pincher in your practice, you're welcome to go there, holding for a moment or two. Otherwise, just keep your right leg extended up into the sky. It's pretty strong as it is. All right, then when you're ready, drop that right foot down. And then just one last time on the other side, left leg lifts. Again, lean the weight forwards onto the forearms. Continue to push away from the ground and maybe finding a momentary lift of your right leg. Wherever you are, holds. Play a little bit and if you fall, that's also totally fine. It's part of the practice. Okay, nice and slowly, both feet land to the floor, sink your knees to the ground. Let's come into a kneeling position. Just glide your hands over your thighs. Well done, wherever you are, take a nice full breath. Let it go through the mouth. And then plug your hands into the floor, tuck your toes, make your way into a forward fold at the back of your space. Come into a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold forwards. Rise up high mountain pose, reaching into the arms, lengthen out of your waist. Exhale, guide your hands into your chest. Inhale, we rise. And then exhale, fold forwards, bow down to the floor. Come into a halfway lift. As you breathe out, make your way forwards. We meet in a plank position. All right, step back in your plank, hold for breath. Now, start to lift your right leg off the floor, point into the right toes, guide that right knee to the right elbow. Beautiful, you got this. Reach back through the leg again, over to the left elbow. Beautiful, and again, reach back, over towards your right elbow. Reach back, over towards your left elbow. Step both feet back, hold, breathe. Other side, your left leg lifts, point into the left toes, left knee to left elbow. Reach back, over to the right elbow. Reach back, over towards your left elbow. And reach back, over towards your right elbow. Beautiful, step your left foot behind you, breathe in, sink both knees to floor, supported chaturanga. Nice work, inhale, cobra, bhujangasana, lift your chest. Exhale, lower it back down. Now tuck those toes. I want you to push away from the ground as much as you can. Find your plank. Meet in your downward facing dog. Take it back. And then lift your heels off the floor. Crouching dog, hug your chest towards your thigh bones. I want you to step, jump, or walk forwards. Come into a halfway lift at the front of your space. Breathe in. Exhale, fold, breathe out. 
chair pose, or katasana, bend into your knees. Really nice, cozy, and low chair. So get as low as you can as you reach into the arms and hold. Almost touching the floor with your bum. Get a little bit lower. For five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips down to the ground. Nice work. Reach your legs out in front of you. Find Navasana boat pose. Little bit of core to finish us off. Breathe in. All right, low boat. Straighten your legs. Point those toes. Keep your head and your shoulders lifted off the floor. Breathe in. All right. As you breathe out, hug your left knee to your chest. Your right leg is long. And then exhale, change. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, keep the head and shoulders lifted. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, hug both of your knees into your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin bones for a moment. Give everything a squeeze. And then interlace your hands behind the back of your head. Both legs nice and high in the sky. Legs are straight. Keep your head and shoulders lifted. And then I want you to lower your legs, pointing those toes. And then open up the legs. Bring it back together. And then come back up. We'll go for a few rounds. Keep your head and shoulders lifted so you're really using your abdominal muscles to keep you lifted. All right, let's lower it down. And then open it up. Bring it back together and then rise. Nice, three more rounds, lower down. Open it up, bring it back together, and rise. You got this, we lower. Open it up, bring it back together, and rise, last and final round, stay with it if you can, lower down. Open it up, bring it back together, and lift all the way up, reach the hands out in front of you, Hover the arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. <laughs> Relax your head and shoulders to the floor. Bend your knees. Give yourself a cozy squeeze, hugging thighs into chest. And then nice and slowly, send your left leg out in front of you. Find a wind removing pose as you hug your right knee into your chest. Breathe in. Breathing out, taking your left hand to your right knee. You can take a gentle twist over to your left side. Melt your right shoulder down to the floor. Relax your facial features. Feel the body soften. And then nice and slowly guide the right knee back into the heart. Give yourself a squeeze once again. And then send it out in front of you and change sides, hugging your left knee into your chest. Breathe fully in. And then exhale, take a twist towards the other side, right hand on left thigh, peeling that knee down to the floor. Let yourself soften. Feel the breath gradually slow down. And then with your next in-breath, let's guide the left knee into the heart space. Hug both of your knees into your chest now. Let's wrap ourselves into a nice cozy little ball. Hugging your knees into your chest, take a full breath. And then exhale, let it all go, come into Shavasana. Reaching the arms out to the sides or behind you, anywhere that feel comfortable. Close your eyes, relax your face. Feel yourself settle into stillness for the next two minutes.
and begin to deepen your breathing. And very slowly start to bring some awareness back into the toes and the fingers. And small movements through ankle bones and wrists. And then you can gently guide both of your knees in towards your chest. Wrap your hands around your shin bones. Give yourself a squeeze. And then you can rock upwards in your own time. Come into a seated position. Find a cross-legged seat. Let's seal in the practice with a nice conscious breath together. Hands to heart. Breathe in through the nose. And then exhale, let it go. Sighing it out, letting it go. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. And well done for staying all the way till the end. I really hope you enjoyed that practice. Please let me know how it went for you in the comment section down below. And if you are interested in deepening your practice with me, I have an online membership called Tana Studio, where you will find longer full length practices. So up to an hour and longer. And there's some shorter practices in there as well. That is yoga flows and strength slash Pilates workouts along with breathwork and meditation. There is a three day free trial if you're interested. Please come and join me and check it out. Um, yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and any feedback is always welcome. All right, I'll see you in the next one.